Oh, Kim! day of the yoga challenge but first of all I'm gonna announce the winner of last week's confidence challenge and the winner actually completed the challenge within like two seconds after watching the video and I was like this is too cute and like loads of you guys like um thumbs did up so I was like this definitely has to win for this week's challenge and there are so many exclamation marks in that little paragraph as you can see I'm just saying guys see what being confident can do like it can make you happy it can make you super happy anyway the yoga challenge so as you guys might already know this month was basically more about your mind rather than your body and I really wanted to focus on improving you guys like mind and the way you look at things and as I always say you can start this challenge whenever you want whenever you have the time to do it you don't have to do it along right now if you're watching this even a year after you can still do this challenge okay so the challenge is basically every morning this week you have to do a little bit of yoga and I know some of you guys probably have never done yoga before or you might have already started yoga but for those people who aren't quite sure what sort of yoga moves to do in the morning what to sort of like start off doing because I'm not even that good at yoga at all which is why I have a special guest to help me with this week's challenge. Oi. <laughs> so as you guys might already know, my sister is actually trying to lose weight and you can watch that video right here. Click on her face or the link will be down below and you can go check that out and see her stats and where she started and we've been meaning to do an update but it's really been frustrating if you want to see an update on kim's progress um comment below and we'll do one as soon as possible and the struggles i've been going through the it's been such a struggle with you anyway so kim has been doing yoga for a lot longer than i have so i thought i'd bring her in to do the actual um, routine you're gonna be doing this week she's gonna show you guys the routine the yoga routine you're gonna be doing and also it's just to show you guys I mean I can work out all I want but I'm never gonna be good at yoga yoga is a lot more about your mind patience and breathing I mean it is about form. you have to have great form which I don't really think I have but you have to build the strength to get form because it also has a lot to do with building up strength like I have weak arms like me and school both have these amazingly weak wrists that we got from our mother so I mean she can do more push-ups and stuff like that but it's still like a lot of resistant stuff to do with your own body weight which I really like because it means that I don't have to actually get weights and stuff like that I can just use my own body weight which I have quite a lot of so I always think that's a good it's a good thing to use really that's good and also yeah yoga actually teaches you patience which is something that is so important to weight loss anyway so Kim is going to show you the sun salutation okay let's let's start relax breathe are you filming yes okay we're gonna be in so, the zen okay mode. so we begin with an inhale up inhale Exhale, exhale coming down place your palms flat on the floor if you can bend your knees if you need to if, you, if this is a really difficult stretch because they can be if your hamstrings are tight stay right there so i've been doing it for a bit so i'm able to like straighten my legs and not have to bend them but you can bend your knees and then like work your way up Mm -hmm. So then inhale, going into plank, exhale, chaturanga, just a slow lower, and then um, inhale, upward facing dog, like this. If you can't straighten your hands out like this, if this is too much, you can just go into cobra, which is just this here, which isn't as much pressure. Yeah, but this is upward facing dog, and then exhale, 
going into downward facing dog and again you can bend your knees if it's like too difficult stretch but um, yeah and then you can either like step up to the top of usually you should have a mat but we don't have a mat um, either step to the top like that or you can just jump and then again inhale exhale seal in and then you just repeat so I'm gonna do it again without doing all this talking and do it a bit quicker so you can see how it flows so here goes now Um, but yeah, you can like hold each pose for like, usually people like to do it for eight breaths just to look like, really get into it and just really stretch while you're in it. I just did it really quick there, but usually you should hold it and then you can run, it, run through it again for like two, three, up to five, like as much as you really want to do it, really. It's like really great and relaxing and like you can get out of your head, like if you're stressed about uni work, and like schoolwork, whatever you're stressed about, like literally you forget about it because it all goes away as you're breathing. If I do a bit of yoga, it really, it really does brighten my day when I do it. Like in the morning, I'm in a much better mood. And yeah, it's great. Anyway, so that's the routine I want you guys to do every single morning this week. If you don't want to do that routine and you have another yoga routine you prefer, you can do that. But I know a lot of you guys haven't done yoga before, so I thought that routine would be quite what well, I didn't think that. Kimberly thought that it would be a really good routine just like to it's get just a well known, started. like yeah. simple one. And it's a sun salutation, so it's for the morning. And I'm definitely going to be doing this challenge because. I need to do more yoga. I am always so stressed and disgusting. She is all I'm, the time. She's I'm, grim. I'm such a horrible person, she's especially to her. Thing. So I really need to start. She's not that bad, but she can be really mean to me. This is already 10 minutes long. Bye! Thank you for. <laughs>